The collar was wired on, it was never meant to come off him. That's the last time, Pepe. The last time. From the undercover investigation, we knew that Pepe had been with this circus all of his life. He needed to be held, he needed physical comfort to counter the loneliness. That was the most important thing. All through this, he was looking into our eyes. That's really rare. There was a real trust there. Circus life for animals is one of sheer brutality. But once an animal comes into our care, they gradually pick up that no matter what they do, they're not going to be punished. And then they start to relax and trust us. He was my guy. <laughs> Each time I came to the, uh, the rescue centre, I did go straight to Pepe and he did greet me. <laughs> Pepe is very attached to human beings and he loves touching and cuddling. You do get emotionally connected, especially with some animals that you've tried to help through their emotional state. But you just have to remember that you've got to let go. You have to remember that you're just a substitute for what he really needs, which is his own kind. And so really from the moment we got him, the race was on. Could we find someone for Pepe? The most crushing thing for an individual like Pepe was his loneliness, but we didn't have any other spider monkeys. We started talking to the wildlife officials in Peru and they said that there was a restaurant with several monkeys. They were kind of entertaining the diners. But one of them was a spider monkey and a female. We were excited, very excited. We have Valerie, the lovely spider monkey. Hopefully she'll be a friend for Pepe. She's absolutely beautiful, so I think he's going to love her. <laughs> Valerie will come into the stage next door and they will be separated. We have to go slowly. We don't know how he will respond beating another spider monkey. 